Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today we're going to be talking about if you're spawning an object, you better also be removing and deleting that object. This will help save processing power and memory on your phone and lead to a smoother experience for your player. So let's get started. Now before I get started, if you're new to BuildBox and learning the fundamentals, be sure to like, leave a comment, to let me know if these videos are helpful to you. Spawning an object. I'm gonna go into the color bump template I made, show you an example of an object spawning and why it's important to also delete that object. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this sphere, press D to duplicate it, and we're gonna call this enemy sphere, and then press D to duplicate it and then call this enemy debris sphere. Whenever you're spawning an object, you want to have the object that spawns the object and the spawned object because an object cannot spawn itself. Otherwise that would be an infinite loop and then crash. Okay, so let's grab this enemy sphere and we'll put it somewhere over here like this. And as it is an enemy sphere, I kind of want to add a random color node to it. Cool, make it smaller, move it up here. Go into the sphere, grab the spawn node. Whenever you're using the spawn node, you usually want the delay node. That way it'll give time between each spawn. Delay by point, five seconds. And from here, you want to go in, select the asset that is being spawned. And in this case, it is the enemy debris spawn, which has physics set to dynamics, looking good to save. Go in and just also add a set random color node. Now, the enemy sphere will not have physics. We're just going to remove the physics. And then the, the enemy debris sphere, it shouldn't be called debris, it should just be called spawn. Let's change the naming convention and let's see it in action. Okay, so here's the enemy sphere and there's the spawn. It doesn't move, it just kind of falls to the ground and stops moving. So we're going to want to add more physics, more bounce reduce the friction and let's take a look this should cause it to bounce a little bit more nope no bouncing that's not cool i'm gonna change the bounce to one see if that does any anything let's check it out okay i saw a little bit of a bounce it's only creating one spawn so once it's done i'm gonna reconnect it to the delay node that'll cause the object to spawn indefinitely Remember we said when spawning an object, you also want to then delete that object. Now the sphere isn't bouncing in the way that I would like it to. So once I get the spawning sphere to interact in the environment the way that I want, I'll connect these nodes. But until then, I'm just gonna play with the mass, the friction, and see if I can't cause it to react more with the environment. Maybe a lighter mask would help. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, cool, so here we can see a bunch of things bouncing around and it's just getting a little hectic. First thing I wanna do is actually make these smaller by 0.25 and then go into the world and just raise this up substantially and maybe duplicate it so that now there's two of them and let's see how that looks. Okay, looks cool. The sphere is actually going into the plane, which is not what we want. And I think that's because of how I set the scale. So let me go back here, set the scale to one, and then go to the enemy sphere, which is causing everything to spawn. And just make this smaller. So go here, select both of these, and let's go ahead and add one more. So we can have three, that zero, zero. And here we can see things are getting kind of crazy. Bouncing all over the place. All these balls, at this point there must be hundreds of them, are taking up processing power and memory. So what you want to do is you want to add a delay node and then remove it after five seconds. This may be too, too little. Let's take a look. And this causes it to just disappear. So let's try 2.5 seconds. Here we can see after 2.5 seconds, once you see the spawning sphere, that they disappear.
Last thing is to just set the spawn to enemy and we are good to go. Small adjustments like this will help save on processing power, make the game run smoother, and overall it's just a more efficient way to design your levels. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what game you're working on, what troubles you're facing in BuildBox, and I will see you next time. Peace.